Hi, this is Tanisha Johnson, and today we will be exploring how to make presentations in Canva on iPads. Um, Canva is a digital tool that makes creating presentations fun and easy. So we will get started by accessing the Canva app on my iPad. So on your home screen, you will have needed to download it. It's on my bottom row. It's the um, Ombre app with a C. So click on that. I will suggest that you create a teacher account if you have not done so already. Um, Canva gives teachers access to way more content within the application for being a teacher, so make sure that you do that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive in to showing you how to create fun presentations. You can access um, all of your templates within Canva in multiple ways, but I'm gonna start on this purple toolbar at the top and click on presentations. And I'm just gonna tap on this first box. That is gonna take me to the like the, the, the area where you create your designs. So within this, I can search for templates. Canva has, whew, they have so many that you can use that are already created for you. You can just click on the one that, that you're interested in and then tweak it to make it what you want. So as you can see, these were my recently used at the top. These are ones that they're suggesting for me but then as you scroll down, there's educational presentations. I've used this very first one for grad school. Um, I, I used it to create a presentation for one of my professors um, to pre present my end of the semester content, and it made it so fun and engaging. Um, so, and it didn't take me a lot of time to create it because it was already done for me. I just had to plug in my information. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you see, just wanted you to see that the, the possibilities are endless with Canva as to what you can access and use. So I'm just going to pick one. And as you see, I picked one, the chalkboard mathematic class, uh, educational presentation. It tells you at the top that it has 17 pages. So I can choose to click on all 17 pages or I can just only pick the pages that I want but I'm gonna go ahead and apply all 17. So now you can see at the bottom, here they are. And I can scroll through and pick the ones that I am interested in. So to change this presentation and make it what you want, all you have to do is just click on the boxes. So as you see, it brings it up. I can double click and now my toolbar comes up so I can change the wording. I can change the font. So, drop that down for you. As you see, there's tons of different fonts that it can give me. I like this one right there, so I'm going to change it. Oh, there we go. So I want it to look a little bolder, so there you go. I don't know about that one, but it was kind of cool looking. So I changed my font. Now I can change how big or small it is up here. See how it grows, it gets smaller. So you can change the font size. I can also change the color. So say I don't like that yellow, I can make it purple. I can make it green. I can make it blue. I can make it purple. I can make it whatever color I want. So then you have these three dots. It, I can change the position. I can animate it, have effects, underline it, change and make it centered, left, right. I can add bullets. It's The possibilities are endless with what you can do. So... Whenever you are in here creating a presentation, I would just recommend that you just take time playing with all these different little options that they give you and explore how to use them. So I changed my font, I can change the words. And so say I wanted to add some pictures because this is math, I don't see anything that has to do with numbers up here. So what I wanna do is click this black toolbar on the side, and now I clicked elements. So I wanna add numbers. So you can search for anything. So I'm gonna add some numbers. There we go. Now it's gonna pop up numbers for me. And I can scroll through and, and add whatever numbers I wanna add on here. 
So I'm just going to be basic and go with a one, a two, and I'm just going to stop there for sake of time. But it, I've now added them. So I'm going to get rid of that. So here they are. I've got my fun numbers on here. I can drag them around, move them, just using my finger. I can make them bigger, smaller. But say I feel like they're white and they're kind of boring. I want to make that a different color. So you see I've clicked on it. And at the top, that little white bar, there's a black box and a white box. I'm going to click on the white box. And now it's popped up different colors. So it's going to give me different colors that I can use to change it. So maybe I want to make it green because there's some other green on the screen. Now I'm going to click on my two and I want to make the two purple. So you can change the colors so quick and easy. Um, again, you can do follow that toolbar at the top and, and animate and do all the different things that you decide you want to do. So say I did want to do some animating in here. You know, you can play with it, figure out what it does. It gives you information, allows you to flip things flip it however you want, crop, so you can make it bigger, smaller. See how I'm playing with that? Love Canva, oh my gosh. So, page animation, so you can do the elements where the elements will pop up, come and go, and you can also do it with your pages. So, say I'm done with page one, I'm gonna go to page two. Now, again, I can manipulate this in any way, shape, or form. Say I don't want this little rolly cart, I'm just gonna get rid of it. See, I just slid it right off to the side. Say I just don't like where all this stuff is positioned, I can click on every single thing on this page and I can move it around, I can change it, I can make it what I want it to be. I don't want the carpet yellow, so I've clicked on the yellow box. I want it green, it changed the lines to green. I want the yellow to be pink. So, I mean, I can manipulate any and everything in this presentation and make it exactly what I want it to be. It is so quick and easy. So, going to page three, again, I can change all of my words. I don't like that this is centered. Say I decide I want it to be on the side. Um, I can just, oh, Lord, help me. What did I do? Pardon me, people. Oh, well, here you go. This is a good thing that that happened. I messed up, but I'm gonna use it as a teachable moment. I accidentally got out of my presentation. So now it's taking me to all of my designs. So as you can see, this is a page where everything that I've created, I've made my resume in here. I made some end of the year fun um, flyers to go home, but this is my design. It was trying to generate it and bring it over, um, but I got bored waiting for it. So. I got out of it by accident. It was saved right there in all of my designs. So look, I pulled it right back up and it's right where I left off. Great teachable moment. Sorry about that flub-a-dub, but it was great for you to learn that in case you didn't know. So anyways, you can just go through, manipulate this in any way, shape, or form, make it what you want. If you don't want to use every single template in here, you don't have to. So say I've decided that I don't want this second page in here. There's a little trash can at the top. I got rid of it. I mean, I brought all 17 pages over, but I've realized that I don't want to use them all. So I just click on whichever ones I don't want and I just hit the trash can and it's gone. So again, you can make this presentation exactly what you want it to be, okay? You've played with it, you've made it what you want, you've changed your colors, you've added in your, your things. Again, the elements shows you how to add in any anything that you want, any kind of element. Then um, you can go to your uploads I'm going down this side toolbar for you. So say you can do your uploads. So um, right here, see how there's a picture in the middle? I'm going to add my picture and I wanna put that there instead. So did you see how I just dragged it over and it automatically filled it in? So now my picture is in there and I want it to say um, Freckle because that is the Freckle app that we use. So now, my kids know that 
they're going to be getting on Freckle. Um, you can add videos. I haven't added any myself, but you can add videos. You can add audio. So there's music. They also have a kajillion different um, photos already added into Canva for you. So say you don't have an image that you want to use, you can just search in the top and, you know, like these are ones I've already looked for. So there you go. Students and teachers say you want to show some kids working together. You can click on it and it'll add it right into your presentation. You can change the text. They have some really, really, really fun different types of text already created for you with the colors. I mean, I couldn't make this stuff myself if I tried. So this is why I love Canva so much because it just has all of these fun and amazing things already created for you. You just click on it, drop it in there. But again, I don't like how it looks, so I'm going to change it. My toolbar comes up at the top, and I can change this and make it anything I want. Um, it, it's so, so simple. So let me get back. I got off track, went down a rabbit hole. So I'm at text. So I found the text that I wanted to add. Then you could go to your audio. So say... I don't want that. I'm dragging it off. See how quick and easy that was? So say this is my Freckle app. I want my friends to work on Freckle for five minutes. I can down, I can not download, but take one of these musics uh, that they've already got uploaded and I can just drag it over and it's going to go into my presentation. Um, I don't really know what that one says but see it popped up at the top you can hit play it's going to put it in the background for you so that maybe you like to play that calming music while your students work you can add videos that they've already got created for you you can change the amount of time maybe you want this ocean down here as some you know calming background waves while your students work um, you can also access pictures from your camera roll change the background. So say, I love this one up at the top. And oh, see, it changed my entire background. But now that I changed my background, I'm going to have to change my words. So it's quick and easy, fun. You can add emojis. You can also download your, um, your, um, what's that thing called? Your Bitmoji and add that in there. So Anyways, I'm done. I've gone through, I've shown you all the different ways that you can change this. I mean, you can just manipulate it and make it what you want. Um, you can also come up here to the top in this purple bar and you can share your design. Say you and the, you know, your team of teachers all are going to be working on the same design. It's just like a Google Doc. You can all go in there and work on it and make changes to it. Um, so that's quick and easy. Um, I taught February professional development. So the, the person I work with, we both were able to go into that folder and see everything. You can download it to your iPad by hitting the arrow pointing down. So that will download it for you. Or you can go to this arrow pointing up and it shows that you can save it, you can assign it, you can put it in your Google Classroom if that's what you use. Um, save the image. I personally will, and you can also just go into Canva and hit present. So say you were presenting it to your class, you can just have your Canva app up, click it and present it. You can also hit the share link, which is probably my favorite way to do this. And so you can click this top one so you can view the link. So say you needed to make a presentation about something you're teaching or a concept or a field trip or something that's coming up and you want to share it with your parents, you can click this view link, copy it, and then you can send that out, say in Remind or Outlook, you can text it, whatever you want to do. And anyone that gets that link will have the ability to see what you've done. They can just view it. They don't have to have a Canva membership. They don't have to be at Horry County Schools employees so anyone can see that then you can share the template down at the bottom so again say you want to share it with you know your coach or your principal or someone um, and you want to allow them to actually view the template and make changes um, you could either add them with that first button or you can send them this template link they do have to have a canva account to do that 
So I personally use the view link at the top whenever I share these so that anyone can see it and use it. So again, today I was able to show you how to go into Canva and how to make presentations. I hope that this was useful for you and I hope that you have the option to go in and do this and realize how great it is to use these presentations on your iPad in Canva. You can also do the presentations on your desktop or your laptop, um, but we always have our, our iPads in our lap, so it's quick and easy. So thank you for joining me today, and please don't forget to check out our other resources. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to all of our Dear Dis social media pages.